All right, guys, well, I'm back with a real quick video on some new digital night vision that Best Garter sent out to the channel. Uh, that is how you pronounce their name, and they actually have a lot of night vision options. And ever since Pinty sent out those set of night vision binoculars to the channel, they were a digital set of night vision binoculars for about $300 that worked really well. They actually had a record feature that's stored to an internal SD card. You could take that out and record maybe if you're on a hunt, scouting for animals, or doing some night shooting or even nighttime activities. You could see and record. It also had a built-in illuminator, so that was pretty slick. Then I tried a $100 pair from Night Fox or $130 pair from Night Fox. Those actually worked really well. I was surprised. The image quality wasn't quite as great and it didn't record, but overall it was very good for $130. Now these are actually the most expensive pair of night vision binoculars I've had out to the channel. These are the NV900s from Best, uh, sorry, Best Garter, and these actually come in at the price point of about $340, but they do have some added features. So we're going to talk about those added features. I'm also going to show you some footage that I recorded with this and really talk about its performance in all different types of scenarios. The night vision itself actually comes with a case and a few other accessories like a cord and a 32 gigabyte SD card so you can return record internal memory and that is actually located on the side right here. You'll unfold this flap and you'll see you'll have access to the SD card. You'll have the access to the charging port if you wanted to connect it to a computer. You have the TV out and then you can actually flip whether you want to record video or photos with this switch right here. It's not a digital switch. So that makes it a little bit different than the Pinty, the night vision binoculars that they sell. Also, the controls are a little bit different than the Pinty. To power the module on, you hold the power button. It comes up with the best garter screen. Once that comes up, you can see it's set to IR3. You can actually switch through the IR modes, which is this indicator right here, and you can go IR1, 2, or no IR whatsoever. You can hear it click on and off. I also want to show you guys what the IR emitter actually looks like. We'll remove these caps. You do see a faint red hue, but it is actually a lot more faint, which means it's a better emitter and a better tube than some of those $120 uh, night vision binoculars so you do get a slightly better emitter in my opinion and it really illuminates everything very nicely so that's a very nice touch so what you can do is actually click this mode button you can go into the mode and you can go through all of your settings you actually have time lapse options if you want to set it up and record something photo and video options and you can scroll through with this simple touchpad and you can see all the settings there so that is actually a pretty slick way to navigate everything you click the mode and it goes back and then you have the record button right here once you click that you can actually start to record so that is a very cool option now this is on a second video style setting but i can switch back to the normal video style setting where it's more horizontal then you depress the record button and it records to that sd card so a very simple mode of operation and it's very similar to some of the other ones that are sold by Pinty or by Best Garter, but you can see the controls are very nice and easy to actuate. Again, this is a little bit different than the Pinty and the other one I have. I believe the emitter may be slightly better or the cover just blocks a lot of that visible IR and only lets the IR out that the tube can actually see. It's got some enhanced grip and some enhanced straps and also the display itself seems to fit your face better and it's a little bit wider than the Pinty, so you get a little bit easier of a viewing area than the Pinty. These feel more like binoculars, um, but you really are just looking at an LCD screen. They are made out of this cheaper plastic, just like all the other binoculars. So you do get that little bit cheaper feel. And for the $340, I wish they felt a little bit better. This rubber enhancement makes them feel like a much better quality. Um, I wish they would have done something a little bit more. Like this is just that cheap plastic. Now this has a nice rubber coating. You can actually focus in and out right there. And everything seems to work actually very well and the record feature works really well. Now I did have a set of batteries in here and they used them a few times and when I took them out of the case, they went dead. So I believe the case itself is depressing the on button and turning these on because since then I left them out of the case and they've been going now for a good hour or two with no signs that the battery is dying whatsoever. Let's cut over to the footage of me actually recording with this and then we'll finish up with my summary. 
So what you're looking at now is actually a house that's about 100 yards from where I'm standing and you can easily make out all the intricacies of the house. What I found is the IR illuminator reflects really well off of man-made surfaces like buildings, cars, vehicles, things like that. This is actually some a lake and on that lake you can see the lake house with the balcony. This is about 250 yards away but you could tell if somebody was walking on this balcony you could easily make out a person walking around. So that 250 yards is no problem for the IR illuminator. This 2D are actually at about 150 yards and you see you can easily make these guys out even though the woods kind of swallows up the IR. This is about 20 yards or 25 yards and you can see how much this zooms in you can really make out the subtle details and actually look through the glass of the window. And this is actually looking up at the sky. I had a lot of requests on my last video to look up at the sky and look at the stars to maybe try to catch a UFO. Didn't catch any this night, but that's pretty cool. So in summary, something like this is not really a CQB uh, type of night vision. This is not for in and around your house, really. It's more for outside where you want to have that zoom in feature. Now this works great inside, don't get me wrong, but with 10 yards and in, you're like zooming in on an eyeball. That four times zoom really brings it in a lot closer. But this works great for spotting for deer or coyotes or hogs on your land. It also works great to check out your land kind of stealthily if you don't want to use a flashlight and be spotted yourself. The IR emitter actually is not as bright as some of those other ones, so it's a little bit more stealthy, and the wider viewing area is a little bit nicer, as well as just the overall feel and kind of quality of the straps and the subtle things like the push buttons make this a little bit of a step above some of those other $300 one. Now, is it worth the $40 extra dollars? I'm going to let you guys be the judge. It is definitely an improvement. Is it a necessity? No, not by any means. But if you've got the extra money to spend and you're looking for those little bit nicer features, something like this is pretty cool. Overall, it does the job very good, but you do need the IR emitter to see at the dark. So if you are looking to be completely stealthy, somebody may see a slight red hue, just something to note. So I hope you guys like this video and I hope it gives you another high value option for budget night vision. I hope to try out some more Best Garter stuff in the future, especially their one time stuff because maybe we can actually get true CQB night vision that can mount to a helmet or something like that or we can use for close in stuff at that one time zoom. Thanks for watching guys. Have a good one.